Good day WA, welcome to an OCC update this morning. Today, the 24th of October 2016. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update sponsored by our major sponsor, Campbell Scientific Australia, when measurements matter. Across the uh, across the west here, we've got this prefrontal trough system that's developed across the inland regions. Now that's being fed by some tropical moisture coming in from the Kimberley. You can almost see like a conveyor belt type situation occurring here. We've got this moisture just feeding into here uh, and creating some uh, showers, thunderstorms, all sorts of things here. But although it is still fairly dry in the lower levels out through this region, and so therefore um, falls have been quite minimal. Of slightly more interest, I think, to most of you is what's going on up here in the southeast Indian Ocean. You can see a certain increase in uh, in cloud activity here. This is all the cloud activity that was streaming westwards from uh, from Darwin, from the Northern Territory, a couple of days ago. It's now been tracking westwards over the last couple of days, and we're starting to see it merging into a lot of a lot of moisture coming eastwards, uh, associated with a monsoonal trough. Now, uh, the monsoon trough is actually up there, just to the left, top left of your screen just uh, off the screen there uh, and we do actually have what we would consider a monsoonal trough there it does extend a little bit vertically it's not just a surface based trough uh, so that extension of that trough will move southwards uh, over the next over the next three or four days and uh, the possibility still of a weak low although it looks more likely now that this is going to be trough related uh, rather than a tropical low like the GFS was suggesting so we're probably more likely now to see the trough track southwards end result we're still expecting to see some rainfall occurring from that system as it streams moisture southwards uh, we do have a break in the ridging so this front coming through is going to create a break or an easing in the ridging which will allow some tropical moisture to push southwards towards Exmouth and Carnarvon uh, and therefore we're going to see this area of the coastline benefiting from some rainfall associated with that tropical moisture streaming southwards Looking at the rainfall until or, or until about 7 a.m. this morning, we can certainly see rain here uh, across the northwestern parts of the Kimberley, uh, associated with some storm activity, and that was across uh, across the Derby area. We got some subscribers who, who messaged in and said that they got uh, they got some a few millimetres of rain there for a couple of storms in a row now, and also looks like there's been a bit of activity there around Broome in the last uh, 18 hours or so, 20 22 hours or so. Uh, further to the south here, right in the southern coastal region around Albany, we've also seen some showers uh, impinging onto the coastline. At this stage, we still haven't seen any rainfall from that uh, being measured yet, but I'd suggest that maybe by 9 o'clock we might have uh, a couple of places reporting a, a millimetre or two uh, across this cloud band here, although it does appear to be very high level upper base stuff and therefore probably evaporating before hitting the ground. If we take a look at the dew point temperatures across Western Australia, you can see it's just so dry, isn't it? Anywhere outside of that southwest coast area, you've got single figure dew points all the way to negative dew points. So it's really, really dry at the surface at the moment. So looking at the future in terms of rainfall potential for this region, uh, we can see as we go towards Monday afternoon, the tropical moisture that's streaming southwards from the Kimberley expected to create some isolated showers possibly some storms in through the inland parts of WA today uh, as we go into the afternoon now watch what's happening up here in the southeast Indian Ocean notice how we're getting some fairly strong uh, development of convection on the ocean there overnight and tomorrow morning and we're starting to see some of that uh, convective uh, convective outflow uh, creating some high cloud right across into WA which could also in turn create some light falls of rain in the region. Now this prefrontal or frontal system here or this trough system that develops through the southern parts of WA continues moving eastwards. We've got a southwesterly airstream early tomorrow morning so once again showers developing across the southwest coast uh, but once again our real focus of, of things is up here now look at this uh, strong convection associated with that trough system tracking southwards and you can see now the computer models are slightly varying on where this rainfall is going to be but you can certainly see on Wednesday it's likely to be slightly more north in towards the Exmouth to maybe as far east as Onslow. Look we're not expecting this to get towards Caratha or Headland at this stage but we are looking at the possibility of some moderate rainfall developing in that stuff uh, that comes through. Remember this is tropical moisture streaming south 
southwards. So there is going to be a little bit of intensity to it uh, as it pushes southwards. Now, as we go into Wednesday afternoon and evening, you can see the area slipping further south here between Carnarvon and Exmouth. And that's where we're expecting to see possibility once again of moderate falls, 10, 15 plus millimetres over three hours. Uh, so very significant rainfall for this time of year for that region. And so this is uh, the expectation, folks, as we go in towards Thursday morning that we're going to see this trough dragging in a lot of moisture. Now some of that moisture is also going to penetrate further to the uh, southeast or east southeast because of the jet stream that will be tracking everything eastwards but at this stage the heaviest rain is expected between Exmouth and Carnarvon. Carnarvon would probably be about as far south as we'd want to go with that Exmouth about as far north but there is the possibility as the trough starts to move southwards early in the piece that we might even see a couple of showers around Onslow from it. Very similar stuff here on the GFS forecast model and we can see initially developing tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon around Exmouth or just to the east of Exmouth and then as we go into Wednesday you can certainly see the heavier stuff beginning to track in south between Exmouth and Carnarvon as we go through into Thursday that continues to be some moderate for heavy falls or moderate falls rather than heavy falls. Heavy falls continue to remain just offshore folks now the expectation then on the GFS there is a bit of difference here in the modelling as to how far south it goes you can start to see it moving even further to the south uh, but at this stage I would say Carnarvon is about the cut off southwards and that we're expecting to see this uh, moisture plume from the tropics to, to push into and once again the biggest thing to remember is that uh, or not the biggest thing one of the other things to remember is that we will see some of this activity pushing in an east southeasterly direction uh, through the inland areas now as we go through this afternoon folks uh, there is going to be a big clearance across the Kimberley not expecting to see too much in the way of uh, rainfall across there however there will still be isolated showers and storms developing if we just take a quick look at this region we can see some instability developing in through uh, the uh, Broome to Derby, just inland of Broome and Derby here, uh, of, of some instability. And also, not only just instability, there is a legitimate chance for the atmosphere to sustain some convection here as well. And you can see that extends southwards, even though the rainfall charts aren't showing it, we can certainly see the op opportunity and the possibility further to the south to see uh, showers and storms as those... Uh, as those northerly winds at the surface just push in a little bit further southwards and bring in some moisture into the inland parts of the Pilbara as well. So even though it's not technically shown on the charts uh, as rainfall, there is still the possibility there of seeing some inland type thunderstorms and we can certainly see fairly similar type uh, scenario shown in the K index here from the GFS. They're slightly, the GFS slightly less interested in this Broome Derby area, slightly uh, more interested in this inland parts of the Pilbara region. If we take a look at where those storms, if they fire, will be moving. We can see in the mid-levels this afternoon, we've got a southeast to northwest steering influence around Broome. So if we do get uh, storms developing in this area, they'll try and move in that direction while they're, while they're at least developing. But further to the south, if we get them developing inland, uh, in and around the inland Pilbara, uh, then the, the steering mechanism here is fairly light. And if it isn't light, and if it does get a little stronger, it's going to come in from the west towards the east. So it's going to drag anything it tries to form in the eastern inland Pilbara eastwards as well. So there's a, there's a big difference there in the steering, isn't there, between what we're seeing up here in the Kimberley to what we're going to be seeing down here in the Pilbara. Taking a look further afield down to the southern parts around the gold fields here, you can see some instability also this afternoon and evening around Kalgoorlie, uh, extending eastwards as well. Uh, so we, we've got a chance here at seeing some storms as well. If we look at the available potential energy, it's very, they're going to be very uh, limited available potential energy in the atmosphere this afternoon, so they're not going to be spectacular spectacular storms but there there is a chance there and, and the severe weather threat index also quite low so there is uh, once again just a chance of storms uh, without going overboard and suggesting a widespread outbreak but once looking at the K index also you've got this thin strip here and this thin strip here that suggests that there is the possibility this afternoon and evening of some thunderstorms in this region. Folks, that's all we, we've got for today. Just remember, if you want to have a look at what the winds are doing, always check out the wind shear at the surface charts on your OCC Weather Centre.
And that also goes for things like temperatures. If you want to know temperatures, check out your two meter temperature, temp two meters, and go through the timestamps to figure out what uh, what sort of crazy temperatures you might be experiencing today in WA for your particular region. Remember, you can zoom right into 64, 128, 256, 512, or state imagery. Uh, 32 is not available just yet, but it will be shortly. And there you go. There's a 32 image for Kalgoorlie. We can see where the uh, where the temperatures are going to be greatest. Uh, as we go into the afternoon for that region. So it's pretty cool, and uh, that will be available to you sometime this week. So fantastic stuff and fantastic news, especially when it comes to radar. Getting down to 32 kilometres is going to be epic. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Normally, these updates are only available to our subscribers, so if you'd like to become one, ozcyclonechasers.com.au, and I'll just log out just so you can see what you have to do. So, ozcyclonechasers.com.au, and on the top menu here, there's a little subscribe button. Just hit, hit the subscribe button, and go through the subscribe page, find out what, uh, what you get. Uh, of course, you can f look at a video about what our weather center is all about. You can also see some of our analysis videos. Uh, you can see some of the stuff that we do uh, and also some of the extra data that you get as a subscriber, which is going to be pretty amazing stuff through this season. Uh, click on buy now and it'll cost you $38.50 for a year. We look forward to seeing you as a subscriber shortly at Oz Cyclone Chasers. Thanks for watching. We'll chat to you again tomorrow.